Hey guys, it's Patty from Following the Magic of Value Added Life. Have you ever been totally mesmerized by all those cool, pretty storage containers you see at stores like Dollar Tree? Have you ever just wanted to buy every single one, bring them home, and then figure out what you're gonna do with them? Well, don't do that. Because today's video, I have five of my favorite storage containers from Dollar Tree and the perfect use for each one. Number five one. is this storage container. Now, if you're a teacher, you're gonna love this for papers and file folders and all kinds of things. So it's super great as an office supply. But I like to use it actually in my home, in my refrigerator, in a couple of different ways. In my deli drawer down here, I keep one, and it just keeps all your deli meat and cheeses and all things contained in this. It's easy to pull out and clean, and it just slides right back in. I also keep one handy to stack uh, different things that I need to carry from room to room. When I'm doing meal prep, I will sometimes put all my ingredients in this, put it in the refrigerator, and it keeps it all together. But again, there's a really versatile piece, and I think you should definitely Number invest four in it. Is... These super cute bins are great. They have handles, they're a nice size, they can fit into a pantry drawer and you can pull out. But here's what I like to use them for. In my freezer, they're a great way to section off different types of foods. They fit nicely in here. You can move things around. You can put uh, different items that are alike, and they just make a nice way to organize the freezer. Number three. I just love these square um, bins from Dollar Tree. They're perfect for storing cups and lids. They're just high enough and they're just a perfect size for anything. But here's what they're really, really great for. You can stack water bottles in these and they fit perfectly lying down. It's a super versatile bin. I have paper cups and lids in this one. I have little plastic cups and lids in this one. I just love the size. I love the shape. I love that they're just deep enough to keep things in. I like the square shape. Super, super versatile. My Definitely get these. Second favorite storage container You are is. definitely gonna wanna get these. These baskets are kind of like a laundry basket. They come in lots of different colors. I found gray, which I was super excited about, but I have white throughout the house too. So what I really like about these is for storing um, in my uh, basement pantry, I like to store chips, bags and bags of chips or extra food. They're great for paper plates. I have them in my closet where I keep scarves and purses and all kinds of things. They're a really nice big size. I will tell you they're not high quality, so I would not use these for laundry. Um, they're not gonna hold anything heavy, but they're just a perfect size for extra snacks and storage, paper products, uh, clothing, and things like that. A definite must, uh, must get from Dollar Tree. One of my most favorite storage containers is... I love, 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 love these storage baskets from Dollar Tree. They're my most favorite bins or baskets. They are flexible, they have handles, and they seem to be just the perfect size. Here's what I use them for. In my um, basement storage pantry area, I don't have a ton of pantry storage upstairs, so I like to keep lots of school lunch snacks in these. I have granola bars. They're just, it's a big size, it fits here perfectly. More granola bars, goldfish crackers, all kinds of things, um, Rice Krispie treats whatever, they work perfectly. These are also great for socks or something in your closet, but this size is just perfect for all things storage. It's not too big, not too small, and these are actually pretty high quality. And you can squeeze them together and hold them by the handle, uh, but again, they're just my favorite. Whenever I see these, I snag them. If you see them in white, get them. They sell out pretty quickly, and I think you're just gonna love these. Because they're flexible in a narrow pantry, you can close the door on them. Um, they're just terrific, terrific bins. I think you'll love and them. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know how I much I love these storage locker style boxes. Um, these are fantastic. They are pretty deep. They hold things. They're sturdy. They have a couple nice handles. And they're just like a perfect size to slide onto a um, shelf or a drawer or a pantry and here's what I love about these if you get the white ones or a light colored one 
you can write on them with a dry erase marker. So you can put what you have in it and label it. And if you put it up high on a shelf, then you know, um, then you know what's in it before you pull it down. So I highly, highly recommend these locker boxes, especially if you can get them in white or a light color, and then you can uh, label them with dry erase marker and it saves having to buy a label. So these are one of my very, 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 very favorite Dollar Tree bins. Get them, get them, get them, especially and finally, I wanted to share a couple of uh, Dollar Tree storage bins that are kind of less than excellent. Um, they're cute and I bought them thinking that I might be able to use them and they kind of turned out to be duds. So I'm gonna show you a couple of them. This one looks so cute and it's actually super sturdy and it's a, you know, a good, it's a nice bin, it's cute. It's got these nice little cutouts, but it's really kind of too small. So I ended up trying to put like facial wipes in it and I don't know, it just didn't really, it's just too small. Um, I think it could work maybe in a, um, like in a nursery for a smaller kids item, but like I have big kids and it was kind of awkward in my refrigerator, nothing really fit in it. So cute, sturdy, I'm sure you can find a use for these, um, but, I prefer the bigger size. You saw the bigger square one. That definitely holds a lot. This just didn't hold anything, so it was a little awkward. And the other one that I had high hopes for that ended up just not being great was this one. It's kind of like the locker box, but it's um, sort of it's narrow and long. And I had visions of like putting pasta boxes in it, but it is super flimsy. And you can see immediately I like it cracked and this is just holding like Annie's mac and cheese boxes. Um, they sort of flopped around in it, in it. I guess if they were lined up end to end, that would work. Um, it was an awkward size because um, it's kind of too deep for the refrigerator for organization yet not deep enough or too wide, I don't really know. It's only about this wide. Um, and you know, it, I had visions of like cans maybe working, but it's so cheap and flimsy that it didn't hold anything. So this one was kind of not worth it to me. I would maybe um, invest in the other locker boxes that I showed you that were sturdier, they were wider, more square shaped and um, maybe skip out on these. So those are a couple of things that didn't really work. I think it's important when you're looking um, at these boxes that I kind of show you a few that just didn't work for me. And again, this one ha is at least sturdy. Um, this one was a total no-go. So it's just save your dollar. Don't bother with this one. So, all right, so hope you enjoyed the video and give it a thumbs up if there was something in there that um, spoke to you. And I really hope you continue to watch my videos. I'd say um, I try to come up with things that will add value to your life, to your home, and uh, just little tips and tricks that'll make things a little bit easier for you. So I hope you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. So thanks guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.